Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to be discussing 9 solar systems where we've discovered most Earth-like planets to date. This is as of 2017 and this is using what's known as Earth Similarity Index. So let's go and explore them in Space Engine and I'm going to show you how I've discovered them as well. Welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So, as we fly into the Milky Way, let me tell you what we're actually going to be doing. We're going to be looking at a catalog that was recently released by a very interesting laboratory in Puerto Rico um, that actually has uh, made some really cool discoveries, including, of course, the infamous Ross 128. Now, this laboratory very recently released a kind of a, I guess, a periodic table of exoplanets, where they classified all of the um, almost 4,000 exoplanets that we've discovered so far and put the ones that are most Earth-like into, uh, basically into its own separate table where you can take a look at them and you can see which ones are most Earth-like. So, here it is. And I guess here is the actual summary of what we're going to be doing today. This is potentially habitable exoplanets from PHL, which stands for um, Planetary Habitability Laboratory. And it kind of gives you a comparison of Earth, Jupiter, Neptune, and the 13 exoplanets that we currently think are very, very Earth-like. This number right here that you see in brackets, this is what we know uh, as uh, ESI, Earth Similarity Index. And this number basically is usually defined by, uh, there's actually a formula for it. And the way that this index is calculated is actually right here on this page under Earth Similarity Index. And it shows you the formula for it using the solar flux from Earth and the star and the radius of star to the planet and also the Earth's radius. So basically, obviously, one belongs to Earth. Earth is most Earth-like planet, but uh, there are a few other really interesting planets we've discovered some of which have a very, very high Earth similarity index. And Proxima Centauri b, which is also the closest exoplanet to us currently, has the highest Earth similarity index, which is by itself pretty cool. Now, this page actually has something else for you to go through. And that something else is basically a catalog of over 3,700 confirmed exoplanets. You can kind of browse through it yourself. You can take a look at what kind of planets we've discovered and pretty much where and how and uh, what they actually have in them. And on top of that, there's actually a lot of uh, uh, visual graphs and visualizations in general here that kind of give you a pretty good idea of um, what each of these exoplanets has in its star system and what kind of parameters you can expect there. But this video is not about details. It's actually not about uh, any of these specific planets. It's really just about the nine exoplanets and specifically nine most Earth-like exoplanets that are listed right here in this uh, list of conservative sample of potentially habitable exoplanets. And here is the list. You can see it uh, on your screen right now. You can go check it out yourself. And it's actually updated very regularly. So there's nine solar systems here. And you can see some of them are very, very familiar to us. Like Trappist, um, Proxima Centauri, and maybe even this one, if you watch one of my previous video, uh, GJ667. And so I think what we'll do is we're going to start right here on Earth. And we're going to go uh, to each one of them individually, one by one, depending on how close they are to our solar system. Now, the first one is uh, the most obvious one, that's Proxima Centauri. So Proxima Centauri is at a distance of about 4.2 light years away from us, and it is a very, very interesting exoplanet that we currently think has the highest potential chance of being Earth-like. Although it might uh, actually be completely barren and have nothing on the surface simply because its actual star is uh, somewhat aggressive. It's actually what's known as a flare star, which means that it uh, produces quite a lot of uh, dangerous radiation and might have stripped Proxima B of everything. But we don't really know that, or we will not know that until the future. Anyway, let's move on to the next closest uh, star system, and that's the planet by the name of Captain B. Uh, this is, surprisingly, the space engine is not a habitable world, even though we actually currently think that it has a very, very high um, habitability index. 
Now, uh, this particular object is at a distance of about 13 light years, so basically about three times as far away as Proxima Centauri B. And we currently think that it does have a relatively high error similarity index, um, and it's about 67% Earth like. All right, next on the list is another object. Um, actually, it's not just one object, it's three objects. The planets G, uh, of GJ system, GJ667. And the star system is known as Gliese 667C, and um, also known as GJ667. And here we have three planets in the same uh, star system at a distance of about 22 light years. There's the planet known as C, and as you can see, well, it doesn't really look very Earth-like, but it seems to be very Earth-like because we currently think it's about 84% similar to Earth. Then we have another planet by the uh, name of F, for the lack of a better name. And the F object looks like this. A little bit more Earth-similar, but still no liquid water or anything like that. And then we have another planet by the name of E. Um, e is the least uh, Earth-similar at about 60%. So right here in the game, it's known as Cold Desertic Super Aquaria. So uh, these are relatively close to us, in terms of space terms at least. And at a distance of 22 light years away, it's actually a pretty cool, pretty cool and pretty interesting find because here we have three uh, planets that are Earth-like. The next one is also very, very um, popular, and that's Trappist-1 system. And in the Trappist system, we think there is like seven terrestrial planets, but it's planets E, F, and G that are most likely to be a lot more Earth-like than anything else. So here is planet E, here is planet F, as you can see, it's, they look kind of similar with the eyes basically covering most of the planet. And the last one is G, which is going to be even colder than these two. Here is uh, G. So that's so far relatively close. This is distance of about 39 light years from us. Um, and the last uh, relatively close uh, object to us is the planet known as LHS 1140b with the Earth similarity of approximately 68%. And this is the object that we're actually um, are going to take a look at now and I've discussed this object in one of the previous videos as well so this as you can see looks very very terrestrial very very earth-like although the temperature here is maybe like one degrees warmer on average than on actual earth and in the game the atmospheric pressure here is a lot higher as well but so far this is something that you might consider to be ultra earth-like temperate marine super terra that's pretty much what our own earth is like as well the mass here, of course, is a little bit higher, and so is the gravitational attraction. So that's something to, to be concerned about. Now we're going to go a little bit farther away. Or actually super far away. The first such object is Kepler-186f. This particular exoplanet is at a distance of 561 light years. That's, that's a lot, a lot farther away. That's over a hundred times farther away than Proxima Centauri b. So we think that this object in the Kepler-186 system, which of course is one of several planets we've discovered, has the um, Earth similarity index of about 61%. Next, at a distance of 769 uh, light years away, we have Kepler-1229b. Very, very beautiful world in space engine, um, and with the Earth similarity of booming 84%, basically almost the same as Proxima b, so this is actually a very interesting world, but very, very far away. 769 light years is actually not something that we'll be able to cover anytime soon. Then, at a distance of 1115 light years, there's another Kepler system, and this time it's Kepler 442b. And um, this planet is also very high in Earth similarity index, which is why it is on the list. Also 84%. And except, of course, for the distance uh, from our planet, this is actually a very interesting world, and hopefully one day we'll get to visit it as well. And the last uh, exoplanet we have so far, at a distance of about 1200 light years, is Kepler 62f. Now, every single one of these objects has 
very very high potential to be an earth-like planet a planet that has quite an incredible um surface quite an incredible amount of earth-like features and possibly even some kind of life this last planet even has rings which is pretty awesome in its own right well unfortunately right now the only way for us to kind of visit these planets is in simulations like space engine because we just don't have any uh, scientific means of getting here if the light takes 1200 years to reach this beautiful world uh that just means that it would take a human being a lot longer because obviously nothing no mass can travel at the speed of light so we would need to wait for quite a long time to get here so until we discover some kind of a faster than light travel all of these planets will just be in our imagination but i guess if we work hard enough and if we combine our forces we'll be able to find a way to somehow get to these worlds and to maybe even one day visit them so if you are watching this from the future when you get to visit this incredible world known as kepler 62f and you get to land on the surface well i honestly have to say i'm kind of jealous anyway thank you for watching guys i'll see you in a video tomorrow come back to learn something else and don't forget to subscribe if you still haven't let's crash on the surface of kepler 62f and let's walk on the surface of this world and see what we can actually discover i'll see you guys tomorrow space out and as always bye bye